It's a story. Happens in summer. It was just summer project to research our grandfather. Just like that, my grandfather was a war hero. War hero? There is no such thing as war hero. They are just killers. My grandfather was a pilot. Maybe he killed many people. I know. But it's not fair, Shuji. We don't know anything about our grandfather. What do you mean? You guys don't know anything. No. We don't. Just like my sister said, I don't know anything about my grandfather. I decided to look for the trace where I come from. How can I help you? What's up? Are you Mr. Robert Smith? Yes, I am. And who are you, young man? My name is Shuji. I am the grandson of Genzo. <laughs> Genzo? <laughs> Unbelievable. I haven't heard from him in years. So, you're the grandson of Genzo. Come, come in. Come in. 
Ça. So, uh, uh, take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Oh, thank you. Ah, here's your pack. Oh, thank you. Would you like anything to drink? Oh, mm. good water. Water. All water. right. Then please relax. Relax. Thank you. Tell me about Genzo-san. Uh, does he still like to cook? It's been so long since we've been in touch. I'm not much of a writer. She's dead before I was born. Oh my. I'm sorry. Has it been that long? But, but I, I haven't forgotten. Yes, it's been over 60 years since. Would you please read the letter? He says that he's sorry he can't keep his promise because of his illness and he can't come to the United States. And he apologized that he couldn't keep his promise. Please tell me about my grandfather. I don't know anything about him. He never talked to anyone. What's wrong? Well, I, I don't know it. It's over 60 years ago. I was a fighter pilot. Genzo was too. He was sworn to, to kill the American devils, and I was there to kill Japs. I forget. So as fate would have it, we, we met in the air over the Coral Sea, and we were both too good. We shot each other up pretty badly, and we both crashed on the same tiny island. Incredible, yes? Yes, then what happened? Nobody lived on this island. Well, when the plane crashed, I, I was lucky to get out before it blew up. And then I noticed some smoke. It was the smoke from Genzo's plane, I guess. I'm sure it was. And then 
Well, I wasn't thinking too clearly, and so I, I pushed off through the jungle towards the smoke. I, I don't know why. It was branches and leaves and vines, and I finally pushed through these two big leaves apart, and there, right in front of me, right where you are, blood running down his face, was your grandfather. And, and we just stared at each other. We, we didn't do anything. We, we just stared, and it was kind of comical in a way, because of Ten minutes before, we'd been trying to kill each other. And now all the fight was gone out of us, and we were in total shock and unable to react. So much blood, and I, I, I don't know what to say or do. I, I took off my scarf, and I offered it to him, but he, he didn't take it. And then I, I, you know, I put it around his head for the... In the end, we had to help each other or die. Trust was slow. We were both blacking out from time to time. We were just two lost men. He could speak some English and gradually we became friends. Later again, I was rescued by the Japanese Navy. They kept me secret so I wouldn't be captured. Two days later, I was picked up by an American sub. But before he left, we, we made a promise. And after the war was over, we would meet and uh, drink a toast. <laughs> I gave him my mother's address here. How was he like? <laughs> he was a good pilot. And he knew how to fix what we could eat. Your grandfather was an honorable man, like a samurai, but war is between nations, and soldiers are just like really ordinary people. And it was hard to get over the hate and mistrust, but in the end, we both respected each other. And so we, we vowed that at the end of the war, we would get together and somehow be friends. Can we should come? Because I am acting for Genzo. Of course. It was an honor to meet you, sir. The honor is mine. If you ever come to Japan, please visit my house and I will show you where my grandfather comes from. I would like that. I'm very old, but I will try. Is that a promise, a friend? It is a promise as a friend. It was like talking to my grandfather. I'm so glad that I have to their promise. The promise of the friendship between the soldiers. I'm very proud of them. I realized that we should never forget people who build peace today.
my grandfather told me with his letter. My heart is fragile, like a mirror on the wall. I can't face the truth from what happened. Oh, but letter has changed the life and wasted. The trap.